Right, morning people. Um, got back last night uh, with uh, a very early Bedford split screen. Uh, a rear van, as far as I know. Don't know a lot of history. We don't know any history, apart from it was stood outside for 18 years. Um, she looks really bad, but she really isn't as bad as it looks. You know, green and weather. But anyway, I'll show you around it and uh, and see what you think. Not sure of the year. I've uh, got no logbook, but i um, got registration and all the VIN plates and everything else uh, on it. Bit of sale, all that malarkey. But anyway, I'll show you around, see what you think. Here we go. Obviously, it's in its raw state, just as I found it. Not um, cleaned yet. Managed to pump one tyre up. Another one exploded in my face, which was fun. Never mind, I've got uh, some spares I'll put on it. Aluminium back. Aluminium in good condition, apart from a little bit sort of there. Um, it's got a little funny little window. Not sure of what it was to start with. Probably a gown van of some sort. But it's a camper inside at the moment. Got a nice little porch over the rear door. Uh, a bit of damage in this corner. But all the bits are there, should straighten out. This side's really green, but again straight apart from that bit of damage there, a little bit there, funny little window at the top with a hole in it. Both of the doors are inside, um, I've got all the locks and everything that go with it, it's basically complete apart from these two pieces of glass uh, that are missing, bonnets in the back, engine's pretty much complete. Well, it is complete. I haven't tried to turn it yet, but we'll see what happens there. Um, there's the plates in there in place. Once they're cleaned, I should be able to see a bit better. There just seems to be a bell in here, by the looks of it. Don't ask me why, but there's a bell in there. Um, but yeah, inside the cab. I don't think I'll be able to get up in the back. I might be able to just show it through the camera. There we go. Got all the original headlining lights. Bed. So, it was a nice job, whoever did it. Once. Apparently the guy, when he first parked it where I got it from, he um, lived in it for a year or so, <laughs> where he parked it. I hope he didn't die in it, but there you go. <laughs> <He wasn't done. laughs> so there you have it. We'll see what she cleans up like. And hopefully it'll go to a good home that's going to make it into a coffee shop or ice cream van or something like that. Uh, it's going to take a bit of cash and a lot of time, but it could really um, make a beautiful van when it's done. And a rare one at that. That's one little quirk. A little, uh, it used to be a, a luggage rack above the screen. One bit snapped right off, but uh, and all the rails are gone. But I thought it was quite quirky, quite a nice thing. It looked good, I think, when it was done. Anyway, there you go. Tune in for the next video. Cheerio.